Hey, in this video, we will discuss different types of capacitor in detail. Their use in circuits, we will discuss different parameters to identify the category of each capacitor to use in our circuits. Range of capacitance with voltage range. Also, temperature limits will be discussed for each type of capacitor with the help of data sheets. How do you know which type of capacitor is needed to use in your circuit and where? Or what value of capacitance range or what range of voltage you can choose for your capacitor? You can find these answers here. Generally, there are two main types, fixed and variable capacitors. Variable capacitors have two more types as tuning and trimmers. As well, polarized capacitors have electrolytic and supercapacitors. We will not discuss variable capacitors and also about supercapacitors. We will discuss in detail about polarized electrolytic capacitors and non-polarized capacitors. Non-polarized again have three main types ceramic, mica, and film capacitors. Let's discuss all these in detail. First is electrolytic capacitor. It is a type of polarized capacitor so they are only used in DC circuits. They provide large capacitance so mostly used in power supplies for filtering, ripple, and noise removal. It used oxide film of aluminum, tantalum, or other metal oxides as dielectric. In the case of aluminum, their voltage range varies from 2 volts to 900 volts. They can have a very high capacitance range from 100 nanofarad to 0.11 farad. The operating temperature of this capacitor is minus 55 to plus 125 degrees Celsius. In the case of tantalum capacitor, they are much more expensive but highly reliable and having longer life as compared to aluminum capacitors. They can have very high capacitance in a very small case size. Their range is from 5.6 nF to 0.1 farad. Their voltage range varies from 2 volts to 125 volts. Tantalum capacitors can bear very large range of temperature from minus 55 to 230 degrees Celsius. Next is mica capacitor. It has two types, clamped mica capacitor and silver mica capacitor. Clamped mica capacitor. These are considered obsolete due to their inferior characteristics. Silver mica capacitor, these are used where small capacitance and very high voltage is required in circuit. They provide very high stability and are used in high frequency, radio frequency, and in oscillator circuits. Their capacitance range is from 1 picofarad to 0.091 microfarad. They are used in a very high voltage range from 50 volts to 15 kilovolts. Their operating temperature range is minus 55 to plus 200 degree Celsius can be noted, for low RF circuits mica capacitor can be replaced by ceramic capacitor. Next is ceramic capacitor. Its first type is multilayer ceramic capacitor. Ceramic is used as dielectric in this capacitor. It is used in applications where a small value of capacitance is required. It is used as a bypass capacitor, in op-amp amplifier, and in filters. They are available in a very big range of capacitance from 0.01 picofarad to 470 microfarad. Their voltage range is 2.5 volts to 10 kilovolts. Due to their ceramic dielectric, they can withstand very high temperatures ranging from minus 55 to plus 260 degrees Celsius. Due to these capabilities, it is highly suitable for both low and high voltage circuits. Their second type is ceramic disc capacitor, as we can see in the data sheet. It is used in very high voltage power supplies, x-ray machines, baggage scanners, air purifiers, ionizers, etc. One of the best capabilities is that they can have high capacitance in very small sizes. These are highly stable capacitors with very high voltages of 50 volts to 153 kilovolts. They are available in 0.75 picofarad to 1000 microfarad capacitance. Their temperature bearing capability is minus 55 to plus 125 degree Celsius. We note here, electrolytic capacitor can be replaced by multilayer ceramic capacitor. First, due to their small size. Second, they have reduced ripple voltage due to low ESR. It means lower internal resistance. Third, improved reliability due to reduced self-heating. Next is film capacitor. Generally, there are many different types of film capacitors on the basis of their dielectric, like plastic foil film capacitor, paper capacitor, polycarbonate film capacitor, but here we will discuss the most important and most commonly used film capacitor. So first is the metallized film capacitor. This is one of the most widely used type of film capacitors. There are many metallized film capacitors. 
metallized polyester, metallized polyethylene terephthalate, metallized polymer, etc. Most common uses are blocking, coupling, decoupling, bypassing, power factor correction, renewable energy, industrial drives, safety devices, etc. These are having very long life with high peak current capability. Their capacitance ranges from 1 nanofarad to 560 microfarad. Their voltage range is from 16 volts to 4 kilovolts. Their operating temperature is from minus 55 to plus 150 degree Celsius. Second most common type is polyester film capacitor. These are highly cost-effective and widely used in electronic circuits. They are used in high-frequency filter circuits, audio and oscillator circuits. They have excellent long-term stability. Also, these are available in a wide range of capacitance from 100 picofarad to 470 microfarad. Voltage range is from 16 volts to 1 kilovolts with temperature range from minus 25 to plus 125 degrees Celsius. One important note is, in many cases, polyester film capacitor is the replacement of tantalum high-cost capacitors and also for the replacement of mica and ceramic capacitors mostly in audio circuits. Third most commonly used type is polypropylene film capacitor. This is used in high-frequency, high-power applications like oscillators, timers, low- and high-power audio circuits. They have a wide range of capacitance from 33 picofarad to 4,500 microfarad. One of the most important use of these capacitors is they are used in very high voltage ranges. Sometimes AC voltage range could be 100 kilovolts plus. These are all the different types of capacitors. If you are struggling to calculate the value of capacitance and voltage for the specific capacitor to use in circuit, then easy and stepwise calculations with the help of live circuit, you can see on my channel Electrobotics. Subscribe this channel to be expert in electronics.